EBMT brings together the very best in the field of HSCT and cellular therapy. Now as the 47th annual meeting and the second virtual edition gets started, we're here to bring you the highlights on EBMT TV. Welcome back one last time this year to EBMT TV. It's been another fantastic annual meeting and it's the last day today, but we've still got plenty to look forward to. Today we hear from the Chan Chan Luan award winner and visit Germany's Stefan Mosch Stiftung. First, telling us all about the last day and beyond, it's Nikolaus Kroger. So we have so many highlights at this year's virtual EBMT meeting. We have a special session on healthcare inequalities and equality, diversity and inclusion at EBMT. So don't miss this. We have also for the second time the multi-stakeholder forum on innovative cellular therapies. And also we have a joint session with our sister society, with EHA. If you miss one of the presentations, you have the possibility to look on demand even later until May to the different sessions. And please give us your feedback about the meeting. I really want to thank all delegates and sponsors for attending this second virtual annual meeting and hopefully to get the chance to meet again in person next year in Prague. Thank you very much. EBMT TV is brought to you virtually from the 47th annual meeting of the EBMT. You can find us at the entrance to the virtual platform via the navigation menu and at the EBMT hub. You'll also find us on the EBMT website and on the meeting app. And make sure to hit the playlist button to check out extended versions of all of our content, from award winners to hospital and donor centre site visits. It's all on EBMT TV. The Chan Chan Luan Award goes to Dr. Wolfgang Betger for an abstract presenting real-world data from Germany in standard of care CAR T-cell therapy for large B-cell lymphoma. Why was it important to carry out this study? CAR T-cell therapy really changed the picture in lymphoma therapy in the recent two years. And therefore, since in Germany, uh, 26 centers total were actively doing this therapy, it's natural to ask how does real world data compare to approval studies where there is a type of patient selection. This therapy is also very expensive for natural. So um, I think this needs a kind of reality check. How extensive was it? First of all, we um, tried to reach out to all German centers uh, currently performing CAR T cell therapy. And um, in this study now, in this abstract, 18 of the 26 centers shared the data with us, which I'm very grateful since this is a very big collaborative effort. It was a back and forth between the centers and the data management for about half a year. So yes, it was a big effort, but uh, I think the results are more than uh, rewarding. What were the key findings and what does this mean for CAR T cell therapy in Germany and also around the world? The results we see in real world are very good for response, initial response and for toxicity, but the long-term benefit is still somewhat lacking since we see a 12-month uh, uh, progression-free survival in the range of 18 to 20 percent so this actually shows us that we are still um, looking for the right place of this therapy in the treatment algorithm and perhaps we have to treat patients earlier with this kind of therapy. And this is the issue of ongoing prospective clinical trials we are performing right now. They're Germany's very first donor centre and now have over 500,000 registered donors. Let's take a look at Stefan Morsch Stiftung.
they continued to support the development of unrelated transplantation and made public donor searches even after Southern died. Over the years, more than 500,000 donors have been registered in the Stefan Marsh Foundation. The foundation also still supports financial research and uh, the goal is to improve the outcome after transplant. We will try to find donors for every recipient and to improve this already really, really successful network even more. Well, that's it from us here at EBMT TV. It's been a fantastic meeting and we're looking forward to catching up on all the sessions that we've missed on the virtual platform. And of course, if you've missed anything from us here, make sure to catch up too. We'll see you hopefully in person next year. Goodbye for now.